Now, some of the drivers in the Peach Pass lanes on I-85 don't belong there. They're riding for free in the lanes that you pay for. A Channel 2 Action News investigation discovered Peach Pass cheats owe the state hundreds of thousands of dollars. Channel 2's investigative reporter Erica Byfield requested the numbers, and she tracked down some of the toll violators. Erica's live in News Chopper 2. Erica. Hey, Joey, to look at this traffic down here, all the people headed home on the left-hand side of your screen, the state estimates that between 6 and 9 percent of those people in those Peach Pass lanes are cheating the system. While finding them is not easy, it turns out that in at least one case, we had better luck than the state. Nearly 25,000 cars use Georgia's I-85 Peach Pass lanes every day, doing their best to beat the bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. Georgia State College student Isaiah Peak is one of them. We rode along on a Wednesday. He was floored to learn that there's a good chance that some of the people in the lanes with us that day did not pay. I thought everyone that used the lane was paying. According to the state tollway authority, violators owe the state hundreds of thousands of dollars. But under federal law, they cannot give us their names. So to put a face with those figures, we had to dig deeper. If they prove that you received notice, which led us to court, they will suspend your vehicle registration. Not a regular court because Peach Pass violators don't get a traffic ticket. They get a bill in the mail. You've probably never heard of the Office of State Administrative Hearings. This court handles toll violators. On this day, the judge expected to review 39 people's cases. Only three of them showed up. Wait, let's hit the brakes. How do you get from here to here? Don't pay a toll. You're facing a $25 fine for each violation. Don't pay that. You're called to court. Don't show up. A judge can tack on an additional $70 per violation. Don't pay that in 30 days. That's when a judge will suspend your vehicle registration. Francisco Ramirez came to court. He thought the state was charging his debit card. And I show up because I want to solve the problem. He had 101 violations. Ramirez was facing up to $9,800 in tolls, fines, and fees. He cut a deal and settled for $2,700. For him, that is a lot of money. <laughs> I know very happy. But the no-shows are on the hook for much more. We went looking for a woman that, according to court records, owes $30,573.81. That's more than the price of many new cars. The owner of a limo service owes more than $10,000. Altogether, the no-shows from this one day in court owe the state $168,000. It's critical that people pay. It's, it's really the only way that the system works and that it's fair. And did you know you were supposed to be in court last week? I had no idea. I got no notices. I got no phone calls. Kristen Capavilla's case is old. So old, it involves the 400 toll road. She had a peach pass, but she was driving a rental for weeks after a car accident. It's insane. And it's wrong. It's, I, I took care of the bill. But the tollway authority now says she still owes $6.50 in unpaid tolls. Because she wasn't in court, that $6.50 bill grew to more than $1,200. Capo Villa says she'll pay the tolls. And with all these additional charges for a charge I wasn't even made aware of existed, is, is going to be a problem. Well, back out here live, I learned that the state sent the order to an address that belonged to her in uh, Midtown Atlanta, but that was an old address. She tells us that her permanent address was a 30-minute drive away in Marietta. The tollway authority could not talk to us specifically about her case because she, they told us that there are some privacy reasons. Reporting live from News Chopper 2, Erica Byfield, Channel 2 Action News. All right, Erica, thank you. Well,